what is up YouTube so going through my project doing some uh, checks on certain inputs basically just trying to verify uh, information and set up error messages if uh, stuff's not correct and uh, I went through a bunch of different tutorials on YouTube to try to figure out you know how to properly validate my phone numbers I wanted to validate not only that they were only numbers but that they were in this format here so um, basically if I put in anything other than um, just put some information here because I got other checks going on so if I put in anything other than uh, numbers it'll say you know enter a valid phone number and then if uh, I put in just numbers it'll still give me that you know please enter a valid phone number so the only thing it's going to accept is the first three numbers followed by a dash another three numbers followed by a dash and then uh, four digits after that and then if you do it in that format even if you like if you miss that one digit at the end it's gonna say give me a valid phone number you do that and it adds it adds it so um, like I said I went through a bunch of different tutorials try to find what I needed and I kinda took bits and pieces from each one and got it to work I didn't actually create a separate validate phone number method which is what most of the videos did um, all I really did is at the top of this um, add customer method where I basically pull all my information from my text fields uh, I have my phone number here which is a string and I just get that straight from um, that scene that you just saw so whatever they type into that phone number um, text field I'll get that here I'll store it in phone number and then I just did a bunch of if statements basically else if statements and when I got to the phone number one I just said um, basically if this phone number does not match which that's what the little exclamation point means there um, which you probably know by now if you've been doing Java for a little bit basically says if this phone number does not match this format and this reject um, I'm not really sure I'll say this rejects I guess whatever this um, statement here is what took me a little while to kind of figure out how to set it up but it looks like essentially all I gotta do is put um, these two slashes and a D and then you can put how many um, places you want so the first three are gonna be there and then you put the little dash and then the next three and then a dash and then the last one is gonna have four um, that seems to be what works so it's gonna just look at your your string there that's in that text field and it's gonna see if it matches this format um, I'm assuming maybe this D means digit uh, I'm not 100% sure on that though I'm just kinda making assumptions at this point but I saw a lot of other people that did it um, that used basically like brackets and then put like 0 through 9 in the brackets Whoops. and kinda did digits that way um, but this was the simplest way for me to to validate it like I said after going through like five six different videos um, I gather enough information to kinda come up with this and this works really well so if you are trying to basically just do an if statement to check to see if your phone number is in the right format and it's only numbers this is definitely the easiest thing to do so hope you guys enjoyed that hope you guys find this video um, if you're searching out there there's a whole bunch of videos out there on this hopefully this one um, will be a good addition to them